Okay, here we have the blade. You can see it's got some rust on it. Again, I did dip it in Evaporust and, and uh, cleaned it with some steel wool. And uh, I've started to work on the back here. See, but we can still see some rust. That all has to come down to bright metal. And so the best way to do that is a flat surface, just like we did with the sole. And uh, we'll uh, do that and come on back. So bright metal here, and then I want to want to work on this. Uh, and I think what I'm going to do is uh, get it up to about 400 grit, and then I'm going to put the plane, uh, the blade back in the plane. And mosquito wants to eat me. Anyway, um, and then I think I'll put it in the plane and show you that you can actually have a workable plane with a 400 grit. You don't have to do that 8,000 grit stuff. Some wet dry sandpaper. Getting the bevel. And getting a burr on the back, which means that we're getting very close to being finished. Now, I like to drag the corners back just a little bit so that they, when I'm planing, they, the corners don't dig in and leave a, leave a gouge in the wood. There's a smooth transition at the edges. Not very much, just very slight on the on the corners. Okay, and then can't neglect the back. Okay, we'll continue in this fashion until we have a clean blade. And uh, the the basic angle in and then we'll uh, switch to a higher grit. Okay, we finished with the 150 grit. Now we're going to go to 400. This is just uh, some window cleaner. So, yeah. Be careful not to lift this up when you're flattening the back. It'll change the way the plane operates pretty dramatically. Okay, bevel. Don't have to push hard. Some people like to uh, adhere this to a plate glass, the, the uh, sandpaper. I believe they call that the scary sharp system. which is very, very good. But uh, I think I'm going to finish with this grit and then show you what just 400 will do and then I'll go to a little finer stone to finish the plane off, the plane iron off. One of the ways to tell if something's starting to get very sharp is if it catches on your nail. If it's not, it's not very sharp, but if it does, that, that's almost razor sharp, where it starts to catch. 
I could probably finish this with a stropping compound out on a leather strop and have a razor sharp iron. But I have a two dollar garage sale Washita stoner that I'm going to use just to keep with the theme. Now the reason why all this low budget uh, plane thing is we're gonna I'm gonna I'm going at this as if I was starting again. Uh, the most important thing is to get a few tools together or get enough together to, to get yourself, make yourself a really good carpenter's bench. And uh, the one I'm going to make is in the style of Paul Sellers. You might want to, if by chance you happen to see this video, go on over and see his, his uh, website. He's a, a fabulous woodworker. And uh, is very practical and has rather elegant, simple solutions to, to, uh, well, to getting woodwork done. I think you'll enjoy his spot, his blog spot as well. So, I'm about done here. I think I'm going to load this up in the plane and show you that you can actually get work done with 400 grit. Long, so even one of those two-sided corundum stones will get you up and working. Not bad. Okay, back in a minute. Okay, on to work with the uh, two dollar garage sale sharpening stone. We'll get this uh, edge refined up pretty good. And lifting slightly at the corners. Ah, yes, for now we're getting some polish here. I'm going to check the other side. Actually, I think I want to work the other side. The other side's a little straighter and smoother. Just a little window cleaner. I don't like kerosene or oil. It loads the stone up for me. I'm not very happy with that. There we go. Don't want to forget to polish the back as well. See if you can see how the polish is starting to come up here. Get some light reflection on. There we go, a little bit. Yeah, you can see how the polish is starting to come up. And it's starting to catch on a nail, so we're starting to get really sharp now. Then beyond this, some white compound on a leather strop or, or um, a piece of denim glued to a, a smooth board or piece of plywood or something charged with some white compound sharpening or polishing compound green chromium oxide works well too uh, if you want to go real fancy there are diamond honing and sharpening compounds on the market today uh, but I think I want to keep this for geared more towards uh, young and just starting out. Um, I've heard that Mother's uh, Mag Polish works well as a stropping compound. Uh, Semichrome Polish, something like that, might work as well. And we'll see what we got here. Oh yeah, that's it's grabbing the nail. We're close to razor sharp right there, and that's about as good as we're going to get with this stone. 
It's a nice stone, but it's not super fine. It's not like a hard Arkansas or a, a high grit Japanese stone or one of the Shaptons. Very expensive stones. Fit. There's no reason to have to pay, lay in hundreds and hundreds of dollars of tools to get yourself going. You just don't need to. However, I will say that I do enjoy owning really nice tools. I have nothing against them. Okay, that'll do it. I'll put it back in the plane and test it. All right, in the video where I went over tuning this for use, I mentioned stropping, and I forgot that one of the ways in which you can which you can strop a blade is with newspaper. The newspaper has a very, very, very fine abrasive. Oh, well, I'm guessing somewhere in the forty thousand range. Uh, uh, give or take. Uh, so you can actually strop your tools once you get them sharp though because it's it's too fine to uh, take from a coarse grid but once you get oh uh, you know a few thousand grit polish on it this will stropping on newspaper will give you that edge refinement that is uh, Nice to have. Let's see, it's, it's uh, yeah, it's picking up a little bit. It's a little too coarse. What I finish this with is a little too coarse to get a quick result from newspaper. Now, if you have like one of those 8,000 grit uh, uh, Japanese stones or or something similar. Why? You don't have to spend too much time on the newspaper. But if you're just going to do this from oh the 2,000 grit or so that I went to, you'd be here forever. But as a practical alternative to leather and compound. This is pretty good. And she's definitely sharp. Okay, that's it. She's dropping on newspaper. Okay, time for testing. Yeah, see, it's just a beautiful shaving. silky smooth, smoother than you can get. Smoother than you can get with sandpaper. Right, it'll take a nice light shaving. Let's try and hog some wood off here and we'll crank her down a little bit. Yeah, and it'll take a nice thick shaving too. Yep, she's working like a dream. So, don't back off on these $2, $2 dollars planes. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, we're done with that one.